I'm like this really resonated with me when you said in the book um I think right at the end um by choice and by bondage we made these islands too um and so for me these stories and 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 what I've sort of read about the Muslim world's impact in the West has made me feel more confident um, as a Muslim. And, um, you know, when when you get racism or people saying go home and, oh, we bought, you know, we civilized you in, in your countries, that kind of thing. So, yeah, that statement really sort of rang true with me. And I wanted to ask you, did you feel a, a greater sense of belonging um, after all these the stories that you came across and, and wrote about in this book? I'm really glad to hear you say that, because that's that's one of the reasons that I wanted to write the book, is to give people that sense of belonging, that sense of ownership. But it's certainly about empowering um, the next generation to be able to speak confidently about um, British history and their place in Britain. Uh, you ask about the, the sort of what to do when racists say things like, go home or we civilized you. Well, um, some of the stories might allow you to question who civilized whom uh, yeah. and <laughs> what uh, home actually means. Ultimately, for me, the long and short of hidden heritage is that it's, Britain couldn't be what it is today uh, without the long history of its relationship with the Orient uh, and with Muslim societies and people. Um, and that is something that we just simply have to acknowledge. Yeah.